with an Nexus microinverter where you convert each panel into an individual uh, energy producer, it knows nothing about its neighbor. So if a neighbor panel is shaded, for example, say in the morning from a, even from a small pipe, like a vent pipe from a kitchen or even a, something as small as a, as a conduit wire or a chimney or something, uh, that panel will not produce as much energy, but it has no impact on the panels around it that may be producing full energy. So as a result with a microinverter that converts DC to AC at each, at each panel, you get higher harvested energy in real world conditions, which makes a big difference. We've, uh, in our tests, uh, we see that we get, uh, we get 15 to 20 percent better harvested energy in, in typical environments that you often find where there's an opportunity to put solar. There are some other um, producers like National Semiconductor or Solar Edge with maybe similar solutions. What is the difference to your solution? Sure. Yeah, uh, solutions like uh, Solar Edge and, uh, and the uh, National Semiconductor Solar Magic are all converting the DC of the solar panel into a higher voltage DC and doing localized MPPT or, op or tracking of the power uh, at each panel. So they try and address this problem I talked about, like uh, avoiding the problems of shadowing and all of this. But they still are connected uh, as DC on the roof, which is either series or parallel. It's still quite high voltage, which can be dangerous. And you still, principally, you still have to have a central inverter. For example, if it's a house, you'd have a central inverter in your garage or in your basement or in your attic space. And, and that's one of the huge differences. With our system, there's only an inverter with each solar panel, like, like, uh, like here, which, uh, which is just a small unit that has two DC connections from the solar panel. This is mounted on the frame of the, uh, that holds the, sol the solar panel up. Uh, very simply attached, you attach, clip these two connectors to the connectors, the DC connectors on the module. And then this AC line just clips into a bus line for the AC out. Kind of much like on this picture here, I'll show this, where here's the solar panel, here's all of these microinverters. They're just connected to this bus line, and the bus line runs down into the house where it makes a standard AC connection in the house, uh, which is very easily done by ordinary electricians, and there's no high voltage DC.